Yesterday there was an event at a place called Negative Space. It was anything but negative, totally positive. It was celebrating the release of Carla Wolf's new book, Invisible Soul. And I had the privilege of uh, meeting and taking a little bit of pictures and videos, other people were doing it, of some of the participants in the underground Cleveland soul scene of the 60s and 70s. Abdul Ghani, George Hendricks, uh, Art Blakey, and uh, Kinsman Daz Band guitarist, founder, Michael Calhoun. So we'll hopefully be getting some in-depth conversations with these gentlemen soon. But in the meantime, check out Carlo's book, Invisible Soul. Really cool. Great time. Thank you, Carlo. In a neighborhood of clubs, theaters, and dives, black club owners, entertainers, and audiences found security and joy in the throb of some of America's most authentic music. The scene was sweaty, smoky, and sexy. From dusk till dawn, across three decades, the streets swayed to the sound of soul. And then it was gone. Invisible Soul tells the story of a boisterous, ballsy, body time when the entertainers and audiences brought heart and soul to this corner of the city. Invisible Souls, a new book by Carlo Wolf, chronicling this scene in Cleveland, Ohio. Write your stuff. He has no words. He made us go back and say, we got to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> but what, what we did, we did, and we came back, we came back twice as strong. All right. Yeah. You agree with that, Eric? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you had a lead singer called Randy. Randy? Yeah. Thank you. I think I Randy. And they had a song called Magic Mirror. Mm -hmm. Magic and when they say Magic Mirror, nine times out of ten they're winning the show. That's right. We only had one song that could compete with it. It was called The Bear. Any other questions? If you have questions.